ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Can I give a stip mono red? We already did mono red, and it was already a stipulation. So why don't you shut up? Did you ever think about that? <laughs> do you really want mono red? I'll do it again. I mean... What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, think of, if you want something, think of something good. I'll do it. I'll do mono black. Mono black seems gas. I like gristle dad when we do mono black. I was gonna take the gristle dad anyway, because we haven't done anything with gristle dad in this cube yet, and there's got to be something. Yeah, our mono red deck was good. Is Gary in the cube? I think so. Gary. Oh, it's little Gary. What are you doing, little Gary? Would you like to lose some life points for your friends? A lot of yeses here. So uh, yeah, I think I've seen. I think I've seen that dude. Also, I've heard good. I've heard people having good results with mono black. So, oh god, wasn't this a true name nemesis? And like my entire, all of my, all of my conviction falls apart when I see the true name nemesis. I'm just like, well, that's a good one. I mean, like, if we were mono black, like, we would take the Hypnotic Spectre, I guess. Mind Stone, maybe. Fulminator Mage. I don't think, I don't think we need to be mono black. But do we just want to be like mid range blue black again? <sighs> Could take Inkwell Leviathan. Mono black. <laughs> Oh my god, he's being so aggressive. Alright, I'll take the Hypnotic Spectre. Badger, we're on mono black. Deal. Dang it. Or is it Full Enter Rage? It's one of these two. I think it's Hypnotic Spectre. <gasps> Bolus' Citadel? Oh, yes. This card, we played this once in Storm. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man we played this once in storm and it was utterly insane i'm pretty sure in mono black it's probably just as good so elk tears is like that face when you're just trying to be fun and playful and suggest a stiff when frank says he doesn't have one but then frank stiff shames you and yells about doing it already all right i'm gonna head out <laughs> super super topical beautiful bolus of citadel it is might just be Bracto Signet. I mean, just because we're mono black don't mean nothing. Shallow Grave. Villas just seems like a worse Gristle brand, right? So if you have both of these, whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. Like, you can be like, I'll pay 7, I'll draw 14. That seems pretty nuts. Uh, same story with Talisman. I think we want to reanimate, though. How many ways do we have to get cards into the graveyard if you're just playing mono black, though? Like, usually you want things like Frantic Search or Compulsive Research to dump your fat, your fat boys. Your fat daddies. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, you're like, well, Putrid Imp, I guess. Buried Alive and Entomb are also in here. All right, well, so, well we're going to go for Buried Alive and Entomb. Phyrexian Obliterator. Is this going to table? I don't think so. I like Eldest Reborn a lot. I'm just taking Phyrexian Obliterator. That card seems bonkers. I mean, it is. Everybody knows it's, it's bonkers, so. Cast down and Liliana's Triumph if we're sticking to the mono black, which Badger insisted. Sammy, you've been killing with the monocolor dress, though, dude. I think cast down's probably pretty good. 
I do like Mind Slaver, but without being able to use Academy Ruins, I don't know if I like it as much. Again, I have this fan on for like two minutes and I'm like, all right, it's getting a little chilly in here. Look at me. I'm in tatters. I need to figure out what to eat after this. Maybe it's pizza. Oh, I'm definitely interested. That standard looks then that standard deck looks sweet. Uh you had me at things like Neheb, Cavalier of Flame, Rowdy Crew, Chandra's Regulator. Yeah, this is this deck definitely looks like it's worth playing. This deck looks fun as hell. Um Argyle's Bloodfast could be decent. I told you mac and cheese for, I told you mac and cheese. Alright, take it easy. Take it easy. Defile is just a a solid removal spell, right, for mono planes. I like Bloodfast though, it's a good source of card advantage. But then like we have Bolus of Citadel and Bloodfast. I don't know if we need all that. I'll just take the Defile. Lasagna is the only thing on my mind. I want lasagna. Maybe it's Crypt Breaker. Oh, we can discard a card with Crypt Breaker. That seems great. Fulminator Mage? That's probably very good. Grave crawler, that's a zombie for Crypt Breaker. I'm okay with this. I don't know what we are so far, but <laughs> Kazorbazorb Field. Oh man, solid, solid Rick and Morty reference there. Uh, oh, I kind of like Priest. Interesting. This nerd I'm fighting right now, fighting. We're battling. We could have taken Stratus Dancer as a 2 2, as a Grey Ogre. <sighs> so I'll probably do it at 8 30. What can I eat at 8 30? Makeshift Mannequin? D -d 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 deal. Oh, that Liliana's Triumph was the other card I was deciding on between Cast Down and it, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yogg seems great, especially if we do get a Bitter Blossom. Also, in Blood Artist, Yogg Moth and Bitter Blossom is an insane combo, so I'm going to take this Yogg Moth. I think Yogg Moth's fantastic. We also have Gravecrawler with Yogg Moth, so we can go Yogg Moth, Sack, Gravecrawler, pay a black. Bring it back, play it back. I mean, assuming we have another zombie, but, you know.
Warm Power Stone seems good here. God, I really look at all these good look at these friendly cards I'm taking. Or passing rather. Yeah, I like Warren Power Stone here. Like if all our mana base is swamps, just getting that colorless mana early is really what you want to be doing. Ulamog. Ugin. Oh, I love Ugin. This is one of my favorite planeswalkers. It's just very good. Dog Moth? What is wait, what is that? Oh, y'all oh, I see what you're saying here. I see what you're doing here. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Massacre worm. Massacre worm. Languish. Uh, Firemind vessel. Yeah, we're just taking Massacre worm here. You guys know it. I'm a sacre worm. Also, Rakdos saying that Chidal was cast as Fulminator Mage. That's pretty cool. What color spells are we casting at that Ugin? <laughs> I was like, no, no, pretend that's not on the card. Pretend it's like this, and you just can't. I was like, did you read the other two abilities? They're very good. Oh, I think Elk Tears did actually leave. He's like, alright, I'm gonna head out. You ang... Oh wow, he literally just said something at the, the exact moment I, I, I thought he left. That's funny. Um, I'm going to take this necromancy because of reasons. Is mayonnaise a color spell? Depends on how much you eat of it. Whatever that means. What is Xbox Game Bar? What is that? It keeps popping up and I'm getting real annoyed with it. App settings. Can I un can I uninstall? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't get rid of it, huh? Well, that's something. I, mean, I think it's Dark Petition. I don't think we're a Dark Confidant deck. Could be a Spellskite deck. Had a really awful first date at the Xbox game bar. <laughs> oh, man. Land Seahorse, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing all right. Dream Stealer? Oh, Dream Stealer. I believe you can get me through the night. Dream Stealer. Confidant might kill us, correct. That is correct. Frexian Arena, however. I just quit the match. Liliana of the Veil? Oh, baby. Another card that's great with Bitter Blossom, but we don't have. I'm going to take the Liliana here. I'm going to actually... Try to return my cards to mana traders. While I wait, 
And if you guys don't know about Mana Traders, they have an awesome subscription service. You can rent uh, digital magic cards online or physical paper cards, whatever, whatever you need for your events and things. Uh, and if you use the promo code and the link in my description, you can get 20% off the first three months, which is a pretty sweet deal. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, the Blood Artist did come back, which is interesting with the Yawgmoth. I also don't have Gatekeeper of Malakir. I think we just want Blood Artist. I think, especially with Priest of the Forgotten Gods and Gravecrawler, like, I feel like we have a lot of, like, there's a lot of sacrifice things going on here. We could sacrifice the Ugin cards to, uh, to draw them. I'm just going to take this guy. We could take the Dreadship Reef just to make black mana, but it's possible but not exciting. That's really what it comes down to. Take care of a Bloodsoak Champion? Not really. It's not a zombie, which is really like kind of kind of messes with us a little bit. What does Cruel Celebrant do? Blood Crypt, I guess. <laughs> doesn't matter it doesn't matter painful truths is great Except for the fact that we would draw one card with it. I guess Temple of Malice did it. God, it's so weird to pass a painful truce. Look at all these. Got a lot of black red lands here. Blossom, bo -bo 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 bitter blossom. Yeah, we're definitely taking bitter blossom here. That's insane. Blood gas returning could also be good because we get another creature to sacrifice to Yogmoth or whatever. So yeah, we're definitely taking bitter blossom. All we're looking for is a Jitte now. Entomb. When we have Reanimate, Narcomancy, Necromancy, and Makeshift Mannequin, yeah, we're taking the Entomb for sure. For sure. Josh, that looks great, man. Zoom. Oh, him to Torok. It's got to be him to Torok here. But we do have Crucible of Worlds and Strip Mine. <clears throat> is it him to Torok or is it Strip Mine? It's got to be him. Him is just a much better card, right? Him is too good. And it also, like, taking the Strip Mine forces us to play Crucible, which is just, I don't really feel like it. 
Basket Room can enter the sideboard. Show and Tell can come out. Fum Fum Fulminator, Fumigator Mage can come out for now. I actually do like Blood Artist and Priest with uh, with Bitter Blossom now that we have it. Stormmind probably will come back. Thoughtsy seems great, actually. But so does Davriel. We can go him into Davriel with Hypnotic Spectre or Dream Stealer. I think it is still Thoughtseize. Davriel might wheel. Thoughtseize will probably not. I wonder if we take out the Grip, the Crypt Breaker Grave Crawler. Crypt Breaker Grave Crawler. It feels like it. I don't think we have enough zombies to really make it a thing. Take out the Liliana's Triumph too. Yeah, Thoughtseize Him Spectre is a hell of a. A hell of a, a hell of a thing. It's a hell of a thing. I like Thought Knots here a lot, but we have no real colorless mana except for like one Graven Cairns. And Worn Power Stone. So we have two ways to actually cast a Thought Knot Seer. Finale of Eternity is interesting for 12. And it's also just kind of like a Wrath of God almost. I think it's probably better than Chainer's Edict, especially if we have Liliana's Triumph already. Yeah, we'll just take Finale here. Uh, we do have Liliana's Triumph in the sideboard right now. We also have Liliana, though. Oh, Thoughts we also have Thoughtsy's him into either Hypnotic, Dreamstealer, or Liliana, so three different discard spells. We could just play Crypt Breaker by itself. Like, being able to discard expensive cards for uh, for 2-2s two is not terrible. Do you want to play Tapped? No. Recurring Nightmare when we have a Bitter Blossom? Hmm. Don't mind if I do. And look, Healer is not here to, uh, to deny us this, so. Yeah, that's pretty, that's a pretty easy pick. Oh, Vraska's Contempt, Ophiomancer. I like Ophiomancer a lot, especially with Theron with Yogmoth. Jeez, that's good too. Knight's Whisper also fine. Yeah, we're taking the Ophiomancer for sure. And I'm actually gonna take out the makeshift mannequin because we already have Necromancy and Reanimate. And recurring nightmare, so. Like Ophiomancer and Bitter Blossom for recurring nightmare. And Yogmoth seems pretty good. Siege Gang? Oh, Jitte. Oh, Jitte. Jitte all day. So now we need one more cut. We only have eight creatures. It's actually not a lot. I can see cutting Dark Petition, sure. Ugin makes creatures and Bitter Blossom is creatures. That's actually like 10 creatures. It's still not a lot, surprisingly. I do like Bloodgast here. I like it over Fatal Push, I think. Because we already have Defile, which is going to pretty much do the same thing in the mono black deck. Whereas, like, Bloodgast is actually 
pretty decent to sacrifice. We just got Worn Power Stone. I mean, it's decent to, like, ramp to these guys, but I don't think we really need it. Most of our, our stuff is here. Alright, I need someone to actually explain what this fucking card does. If a player would draw a card, except the first one they draw on the turn. So, if I draw three, I discard a card instead. I'll discard three. If the player discards a card this way, they draw a card. If a player doesn't... No. It's just too confusing, man. What does it even mean? Zombie Jackal. I'm actually taking the Zombie Jackal because we have a bunch of, like... Oh, the Davriel came back. Oh, wow. Probably just playing that. God, do I just play the Braids, too? Jeez. You can draw a card, but if they discard a card, you can't draw a card, you discard it, but the card is drawn. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Nailed it. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I actually... Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe. I like a lot. I think this could be very, very good in our deck. Yes. 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 Excellent. Yeah. And Davriel seems like a no-brainer here. Oh, we think of the Rakdos Signet, too. That just doesn't... It just needs... Like, the ramp doesn't do anything here. It's kind of weird. Take Chains out. Am I just being too greedy with Blood Artist? Chains of Mephisto. If you would draw a card, is it your draw step? Yes. This is the first card you've drawn. Draw a card. Okay. It is your draw step. Okay, let's do it over here so people can see it. Is your draw step? No. Do you have any cards in hand? No. Put the top card to the library so you mill instead. Okay. Is it your draw step? No. Do you have cards in hand? Yes. Discard a card. So you're not netting any cards. Is what is what is basically what's going on. Uh, I'm on the west coast of Florida. The storm has uh, not even... No, it says there's no effect here. As Blood Artist, Blood Artist has to be good enough because we have Bitter Blossom and we have uh, Yawgmoth for, for damage. Like, I really just want to, don't want to die to that. Yeah, maybe I cut the braids. Braids is really good with both uh, Ophiomancer and with Bitter Blossom. Hmm. We need one cut here. Or we can just play... We could just play 17 land and 41. Do you guys like 41? Oh yeah, the Davriel art is great. Yeah, let's look at that. Let's bigify it because I think that Davriel art is fantastic. Look how big it is. Yeah, that looks sick. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can try it like this. Uh, the problem with if I, the problem with recurring nightmare or not recurring nightmare with, with crucible just because we have braids is that like 
if our only thing to, to, to get rid of is land, like I, it's just, it's a, it's cute, but it's not like great. Like the problem is I, it literally, uh, crucible is a blank card if we don't have braids. So this hand's rough because it has gristle brand, but like if I had this six card hand, would I keep it? And the answer is probably we're on the draw. I just hope we don't die. We have so much discard and, and removal though, so I'm like not super concerned with storm decks, I think in general. Well, about to eat my words. Oh, geez. How are we 18? Did they not attack last turn? Fascinating. I think this is safe here. This is like... This is some real famous last words... stuff. No, the counter bolts us, but like we should have actually been at seventeen, not eighteen, because of the barrel, the barrel, right? Like that's my point. I, I, I know how ionize works. I'm saying that. Did this guy not attack? God, mistakes were made. Well, let's see if we're dead. Can we? Also, if you guys are new to the stream, I stream five days a week, and uh, I have a Pro Tour Top 8 and a Grand Prix Top 8, and you guys should definitely slam those follow and subscribe buttons. Definitely help the channel, and uh, hopefully we'll see each other again someday. This is a good game. <laughs> they could just pass here and be like, die to your own bitter blossom idiot. And be like, okay, you lay understand. Yeah, sure. Show me more cards. Sounds good. Okay. All right. That was fun. I had a good time. 
Alright, let's bring in Liliana's Triumph to get rid of that guy, because he got cast down. Not much to bring in against them. Relic didn't seem too relevant. Yeah, chains. I'm going to submit like this just in case it... Yep, alright, well. Yeah, okay. This hand seems good. Come on, Baral. Or Electromancer. You know, whatever. Oh, fascinating. Dream Stealer, I believe you can get me. Six, right? Six and six. I mean, we could reanimate that guy, but that doesn't really do much. Aria of Flame. Land. Excellent. Come on, dude, seriously? It's <sighs> obnoxious. Land on top. Play. 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 Cast. Your turn. We cannot reanimate Crystal Brand because then we go to three and any spell from Aria of Flame would kill us. So. Okay. Oh, playing seven spells is for sure obnoxious. Like. Could have won. Uh, I don't know how.
Seems incredible. Sure. <sighs> Always a pleasure. Guy in the chat, can you link it to the Chains of Mephistopheles rolling page? I assume it's on Gather. The player doesn't draw a card at all. Okay, that's actually... <sighs> sure. Looking good? I mean, recurring nightmares rough without creatures in the graveyard. Give me that snake. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Top deck in tomb. How about that? Blood ghast. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have nine mana now, huh? Well, we're just going to play this out because I'd rather just have the mana free if we want to play Bullets of the Citadel. I'm surprised we didn't get carry. Then again, I think this is a 540 card cube, so there was. 180 cards that just aren't in there. Do you know the mono black infinite combo? I don't think so. Oh boy. Oh, Metamorph, Yawgmoth, and, and Messenger seems good. Okay. Well, I don't feel terrible about this. That doesn't seem great. Actually, it's not terrible, right? It starts eating away at their stuff if they don't have a serious threat. They also have seven on board, so... One, 
1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mana. Worm Coil Engine. It's a good one. And Lightning Greaves. Well, shit. I mean, I'm still going to do it because I don't want to take six here, and they can't attack, so. And if we draw another land, it's not going to matter. We're not going to be able to hit it then, so. That's really obnoxious. Wow. <laughs> and Tangle Wire. Um, yeah, sure. Tap down one. Actually, leave that guy up. One, two. I have to have all of them. Because if we hit a land, I want to be able to play. Get rid of the blood gas here. <laughs> Reanimate. Wow. Wow. Oh god, we should have sacrificed the snake. The snake being in play is what we really want. Oh no, this is fine. Yeah, we're just getting another snake. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to get another snake back. Yeah, we figured it out. I mean, realistically, being able to put uh, the seven cards we draw into the graveyard from memory jars actually could not be terrible with reanimate and recurring nightmare, so. Use recurring hammer to build vigilance. Yeah, I'll just sack it and give it six mana, gain vigilance. Okay, well, none of these cards are any good, but we can entomb, which is pretty decent. Yeah, they did not tap the greaves, which is kind of funny. It's okay, they have 15,000 mana. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. I'm no I'm no expert guys but sure Okay, well, let's hope I could Is it choose? Choose. Ah, well. happening course of portal sure okay this is good oh this is say what say what
Yeah, but not if I reanimate their worm coil engine this turn. Like, we get to go reanimate Recurring Nightmare, which seems pretty good. Was it three? Braids, sacking blood gas. Snaky boy, land, get back blood gas. Perfect. I mean, if they have all his dust, I guess we're wrecked. <laughs> it's like, forget this tangle wire. it is still not tapping the greaves which is funny to me Sammy congrats buddy congrats on the 2-1 um Draw seven. Recurring nightmare. Sure. Okay, so I don't think they actually have anything if they're just playing Basalt Monolith, like... Okay, Manifold, sure. They only have nine cards left in their deck. I mean, they could just actually tap this for infinite, I think. Fourteen mana. Pretty good. All right, I guess we're dead. I forgot about the can't be blocked clause. It's pretty good. Why do we draw? Because I thought they were going to name Gristlebrand. So, if they named Gristlebrand, they didn't. They also didn't have manifold key at the time. So. I mean, we have Gristlebrand on the board. It feels like the correct play to name Gristlebrand with Sorcerer Spyglass. If we don't draw the name Gristlebrand, if we do the name Recurring Nightmare. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, all these matches feel very close. Like, we feel very far ahead, and then we're just losing to, like, stupid bullshit interactions. Like, oh, you're going to deal 16 damage to Art with Aria Flame in one turn because you have Finale? Okay, cool. Oh, you're going to deal 15 with Sentinel Tower in one turn because you have Art because you have Finale? Cool. Oh, we got you all the way down to, you owe me down to 3 life, but I can't kill you because you have Lightning Bolt off the top? Cool.
His his what? I don't appreciate his what? I don't think the wellspring, like... <laughs> it's gonna attempt to trick you. I was merely pointing out that... And I hope it feels good. You hope what feels good? I hope it feels so good to be right. There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others. I'll take a hey, not a Spectre, a, a Dream Stealer, or a Davriel here. So they discard a duplicate memory jar. Careful study is gone. Island's gone. So we know two of these cards. Then two they drew off this, and one they drew for the turn. Lotus and Greaves. So now we know they have Mountain and two other cards. Reanimate when they have a duplicate seems good. I'll take six to make sure you don't have a dude. I'll tap one of your swamps. Oh, that was what I was hoping for with this. Oh, wow, that's insane. Combo online. You got it. Oh, son of a biscuit. Phyrexian Obliterator. They tapped down our fourth swamp. Oh, you're going to name Priest? Bolus is Citadel. Man, ain't nobody sacking 10 non-land permanents. Ooh. Ooh, geez. Talarian Academy? That's a nice island. What's this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. So they have no cards in hand? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna reanimate here and go to six. We probably just win the game. 
Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Balls of Citadel is no joke. This hand seems pretty rough, right? One more stream question. Do you have a boom arm and shock? I don't have a shock mount because that's just not really necessary. The boom arm is a, it's a Rode PS, PSA1, I think. PS1, something like that. It's the standard. It's like a very, it's, a, it's pretty much an industry standard boom mic. Oh, uh, boom arm, rather. I have no idea. This, this hand is not good. I think this is... I think this is a lot better, actually. This is great, because we put Gristlebrand back, then we entomb Gristlebrand. Turn two, forgotten. Turn three, recurring. This is actually great. Yeah, so it's funny you're asking me like you're you're hoping for cheaper stuff, which makes total sense because it's obviously this isn't your this isn't your job. But like all the stuff I do have is like the stuff that I've put money into, you know. So I will keep. We'll send this gentleman back, and then we'll be done. Oh, they went to six two. Now I feel good. Now I feel good. Either way, I think the um, hopefully the the input still helps, regardless of if like the exact thing I'm using doesn't apply. Oh man, we're doing it. Where are you? I see you. I feel like turn three gristle brand is probably unbeatable, right? I don't want to. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but the card advantage alone is probably insurmountable. Oh yes, that's just fine, my dude. My my dude. Talking about my dude, my dude. I'm gonna get this guy back. Does that seem okay? Oh, that seems broken. Buddy, let's talk about Gristlebrand. Have you...
Worm coil? That's cute. You know what? I'm going to draw seven. Oh my god, Jitte seems good. Cast Down seems good. I like Thoughtseize here. Because if we hit something good enough... Oh god, they have like nothing. Oh, just get rid of that jar for sure. See you later, jar. So... We could just cast down this when they go to attack. Their only card is like one one jabroni. Play the land. We're gonna cast down. Yeah, this is fine. Let's get rid of Swamp. Bolus's Citadel probably. And Yeah, I guess Swamp. Like we have six lands here and uh, Gristlebrand is just a mighty, mighty, a mighty, mighty dude. This is tapped too, right? Because it just flips, it doesn't exile. Yeah, so they can't draw the card this turn. So we know they have Mountain in hand, and whatever they drew. They played an island, so that's pretty cool. Let's get this worm coil engine. I guess we can draw seven here. Uh, there's no Jets Pizza Resolution yet, but maybe I'll get an email this week because it's only Monday and it's a holiday, so. I don't see a reason not to draw seven here. Reanimate. Um, just defile the lifelink one. Like, we're at a point where it doesn't even matter what we do. I'm just going to pass and discard a bunch of stuff. Discard, land, land. Another land. And probably braids. Okay, so they get to draw one from that and one from the treasure. We know they have mountain in hand. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. That was probably very loud. And there's their. Ew, gross. How dare you! And we win the match. Gristle Brand on turn three is a real thing, guys. Did you guys know that? All right, I'm going to head out like you do. Alright, let's try to 2 1 this bad boy with your mono, mono black. Don't you hate pants? I really do. I think we can keep this hand. It's not exciting, but it's got things to do. Dimitri, have a good afternoon, buddy. Have a good night.
I don't see how that's relevant though. Like, I don't think that has soundboard potential just because there's no applicable situation where I could press that button and be like, this is a real don't you hate pants situation. Because it's not. It is not. Now the question is Ophiomancer or Stealer on three. Maybe like when you're OP. What's a bust in the quick? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's literally what I was thinking. I'm like, so if they like equip it, right? Then you can be like, don't you just don't you just hate pants? Okay, they're doing a lot of stuff here. Oh man, I'm so comfortable with Thoughtseize. I don't like not playing these guys, but when they have one, two, three, they have like a million mana. One, two, three, four, five, seven total mana. Only one red. Yeah, let's get rid of careful study. Yeah. Thought vessel. That's a. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with Thranny Boy. We're giving them so much time. The problem is our deck is pretty fair. So we know they have Mizzix Mastery. Did they play the mountain? Yes. So we know these two. Oh wow, that's a that's a dude. I rarely, I'm going to be honest, I rarely wash my jeans. Like, jeans don't, jeans aren't supposed to be washed frequently. Yep, here we go. Well, that's, that's stupid. Bolas of Citadel is a card that I'm constantly impressed with. Sweating an unusual mouth is a th an unusual amount is a thing, but like, are your legs sweating? You have to dry shampoo your jeans. Like I've ne like I yeah I'll probably wash my jeans like once a month or two like if I get a stain on my jean I'll, my jeans I'll wash them. You're actually not supposed to wash your jeans that frequently just because it wears them out really quickly and like it fades the colors and stuff. All right, mine's there for five. Let's see what we got here. Not great, but not not terrible either. Serum Visions, you got it. Wheel of Fortune, fudge. Swamp, don't care. Wow, those are some decent hits. Drawn from Dreams before Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Because you don't have the mana to cast these cards, right? I haven't worn jeans in like a decade. <laughs> oh, get a load of Mr. Dress Pants over here.
Mono Brown turned into Grix's big stuff. Gonna go O3. Sammy, I don't think I don't think that means you're gonna lose, buddy. I think you could still do it. I mean, they have four thousand mana. Oh, that's real good. All right, come on, whiffs. Oh, Jesus. Island, yeah. Mountain, oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's okay. No, it's probably bad, right? What's your win con here? Let's see if we can find it. Oh, geez, time warp. Rakdos Signet. Empty the Warrens. Oh, they can go empty into time warp and then just kill us, right? Oh, and a brain freeze? Yeah, alright. That's all I need to see. God, we have so much discard. Our hand was admittedly pretty slow. Chains coming in, boys. Get the cast down out of here. Bring in Massacre Worm instead of like... Probably instead of Jitte. Relic seems good too, instead of Defile. Yeah, that seems good. Oh god. No. Oh okay, I guess. Ugh, cringe. Oh, you can we can do the Gristle Brandon tomb again. Tyrant's Scorn is a signet drawn from dreams. I kind of just want to take the signet. I think drawn is definitely better. We need to hit a land. Come on, lands. Yep. And, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Make sure you, uh, I just went to turn on Twitch to see if you were on, and you know what song came on? The Amazon, uh, so you had a bad day. Turn it, say, say you don't lie and turn it around. It's a good jam, I think. Maybe it's bad. Maybe it's terrible. Maybe that song is actually terrible. Land? Oh, God, we're so good at this game. We played an island. Okay. Okay, man. It's terrible, yes. Wow. Wow. Listen, buddy, you're a sandwich artist, not a music artist, okay? Wow. Well, they don't even have black mana for the Tyrant Scorn, so... Will they play another island? And a Chalissimo? Dream Stealer seems good here. So does Liliana, though. 
What are we discarding with Liliana Ugin? Yeah, let's discard an Ugin. So you had a bad day. Put you to one. This is the this is the kind of hand wreckage that we're hoping for, guys. Oh, the triple black bolus of citadel. Well, this is just gonna kill you. Davriel's just gonna kill you in eight turns, buddy. Nine turns. Oh, and then we just win the game. Fantastic. <laughs> Remember that time I was like, oh, we'll see you later. And then we just win the game anyway. That was pretty cool. That was uh, pretty cool. We have a lot of discard. I'll take out Blood Artist. I'll bring in Dark Petition. I can see Dark Petition coming in. Not Sundering Titan, though. Keep it down, little man. <sighs> These hands. These hands. This is not better, but Liliana seems good here. So, whatever, I guess. We'll just mulligan every single game. How do you win the game? I'm interested, but not quite sure how it works. <laughs> what game is this? I want to play it, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, okay. That, that's a solid meme, buddy. Are, we, are they going to kill us right now? Thousand Year Storm, huh? The thing is, they can go Mastery into Wheel of Fortune. Which I think is probably better. So is this Milk of the Puppy shirt I expect for my birthday? <laughs> it's really... Are you, are you referring to this one? Why, why do we fall, Bruce? So that we can pick ourselves up. Are they just... What are they doing here? Five mana? What land did they play? Mountain? Okay. So we know it's these two and one other card. That is one whole yikes from me. Okay, so you're keeping a black float. So long, terrible hand. Wait, what's happening right now? Why did it copy? What am I missing here? Each. Oh, because it copies it. Oh, shit. Well, that was worse for us then, for sure. I think we're dead because of Bolus's Citadel, unless they just have land on top. <gasps> do we have a way to. Do we have a, do we have a, oh my god, can we just top deck? Oh my god. Oh my god, one time, please. I don't even know what we have here. 
Oh my god, the reanimates right there. Because we could. Oh, it's each opponent anyway, so we'd be we'd be so dead. What is this, 18? So we can like play this and block one. Wow, dude, that's brutal. So we take 17, we block one. This doesn't even save us. Like, cause we would just go, we would just take the extra. Read your cars. Oh man. Oh, they dealt us 10. Yeah, okay, we're dead. Sure. Anyway, I thought those games were pretty decent at least. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch on patreon.com slash franklapore. You can find a... It's on the screen. The thing pops up on the screen that's in the description. And uh, manatraders.com and coolstuffinc.com. Those are great sponsors that you can check out. Links below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Have a good night.